starts in the dark. <laughs> Not really. My uh, husband's always like, do you want to turn the light on? You want me to turn the light on? Because it's barely light in the morning and I'm sketching. I don't want to see it really well because I just want it to kind of happen without me getting in the way. And so I do sketch in the little bit darkness. Interesting. Yeah, and then from there, I see what I've done. I see what's happened. It's kind of like a little bit of magic. I see what's happened, and um, I take it to the next step. All my life, I have drawn and not enjoyed painting. And so, and I tried so hard to paint. I wanted to paint. I wanted this romantic view of the painter, you know, in the loft, and I wanted to be a fine artist. And um, I, couldn't, I couldn't do it, you know, I couldn't, the brush did not feel good. It was too give, I mean, it was soft, it wasn't like, and I'm not a, I'm not like a color, color shape, I don't see shape, I see things as line. You know, I don't see shadow as much as, I mean, I use shadows a lot, but I don't see color shapes, and it's, it, it just didn't work well, even though I tried so hard. I wanted it bad, but, and then I had an interview with an with a art collector in Austin, um, I can't remember his name now, and showed him my work, and he said, you're not an artist, or you're not an artist, you're an illustrator. I was like, Oh, I was like crushed, but, but, um, so I just stuck with drawing, you know, I could draw on a canvas with a pencil if I wanted and do like a light wash and I've, you know, I've done that a lot, but it's always drawing and a little bit of painting, you know, so I, I do enjoy drawing on big pieces of paper, but it's still a pencil and the color is still really minimal. It's not painting. Well, I, do, I get my sketches you, approved, and then I, uh, from the sketch, I do another drawing, clean it up a little, even though I don't really want it clean. Um, there's always that, artists have that thing where they love the sketch, and then they do the drawing that um, is the final drawing, and it's never as good as the sketch. And there's always that, that your goal is to keep that sketchy look. You know, because it was the first, you know, it was... Is it the energy of the line? Yeah, yeah, and then you lose something. So if you can keep that, it's great. I mean, I still, even in ball, I like my sketches better. There's still something there, but, but I do the final drawing, scan it in, um, do a bunch of commands that lifts the pencil up, and then I put a layer of, like, a really light ochre, kind of like a the Renaissance artists used to do. They'd always paint their canvas um, yellow, kind of a yellowish ochre light wash first. They never painted on white. So I always paint or draw, I mean, on um, that color. And then, then I just started adding color, really light, subtle colors. I never use a lot of color. Then I smash all the layers together, maybe ramp up the red, I like to ramp up the red a little to the final thing. It kind of just clicks it all together and maybe do a little more work on it after I put it together and then it's done. And it ends up as a um, high resolution? 300 DPI, yeah, flat wow. file TIFF. Uh, it was a little bit lighter than I thought it would be. You know, in certain pages I thought were a little bit lighter, but I mean, when I first looked at it. Now when I look at it, it looks fine, you know? I mean, this, the, a little bit of the yellow is too similar to the dog. I shouldn't have told you that, but, no, no, I, I, I but it's just my, it. yeah. Yeah, the CMYK thing is like, what happened? Yeah, it's hard. The CMYK, and you can't test CMYK at home. You can't print one out. 
usually always never, wow, usually always never turns out like I really want it to, you know. <laughs> the art director will tell me a little bit about the character. And they kind of, the art director kind of has an idea, it seems like, what the character might feel like, you know? It's kind of vague, and, and you just do a bunch of sketches. And they'll pick one, and you're either close or you're not close, you know? And um, it's kind of like, it's, it takes some time to get the character, you know? but reading the manuscript over and over, you know. But then it's different when it's my thing. That's a whole different story. I tend to draw dogs. I don't know what that is, you know. Some people draw dragons. You know, some of my friends draw dragons. Some draw, it's just like what we're drawn to and Expression is a big deal to me. Emotion is like huge. A lot of these pictures, um, the dog has a human emotion. And I think that makes a connection. Dogs can have an expression without having it, you know, somehow. And somehow I can channel that onto paper. I don't know how. <laughs> different size fonts and uh, using the exclamation marks and the dots and the size, the actual size of the bubble. The text bubble might be really small or, uh, you know, I like this one, uh, this one, this one here mm -hmm. where he's, uh, it's a ball with a period, like ball, let's do it. Let's do this thing now, end of story, period, ball. <laughs> It helps to show how he would be saying it. The, the mother meditating and, and uh, oh, yeah. it's really light. You can barely see it. You know, we worked with that a little bit trying to get it just the right. Because he's whispering, you know, she's meditating and he's trying to, <laughs> he, wants to he wants to do it, he wants to present the right. question correctly this in order to Mary, oh yeah like, That's all yeah good. he's falling into a deep sleep there so that was tough like how to get him to fall into fall asleep and how to show uh, show falling asleep that's a tough one I love this cut. I thought this was like my favorite part was this uh, case wrap. I love sketchy. I love yeah. no color. I love sketchy. Oh, there's so much energy there. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Oh. I want to do a book with no color. I thought this would be bigger, you know? I mean, I had originally wanted it to be bigger and Kate O'Sullivan, the uh, editor, that I worked with suggested smaller. She said smaller books are so great because kids can hang on to them, take them in the car. They're tight. They just work so well right now. Pencil, Pencil Stratmore, drawing paper, Photoshop. Let's put it. Whack them. The tablet. A lot of people get those big Cintiq things. I have just a little bamboo. It's like less than, a, it was like $60 or something. Because you can get the bigger, like, tablets. They have buttons on them. And, and then the pen can have clicks on it. It has clicks and they do things. I don't do any of that. That just gets in the way. It just separates you that much more from the drawing. I mean, already working on a computer, you're separate from it. You know, you can't hear the pencil scratching on the paper. And, Most of my ideas come when I'm out walking, you know? And so I, I'm sure it, it was not, I have an idea for a book about a dog with a ball. It wasn't like that, you know? It was like, oh, a dog with a ball. I'm gonna go and sketch a dog with a ball. Drawing a lot. 
drawing a lot, drawing in the quiet and the dark, you know, letting stuff come through you, because I'm a big, big believer in it coming from somewhere and coming through you, you know, and you really have to listen and feel, you know, it's a feeling thing. Yes, you can read books and you can go to meetings and, but it's such a feeling thing, you know, at least for me. So be quiet and l let yourself draw a lot. I mean, I just don't get too bogged down with the rules. I got my degree in uh, studio art. So I'm kind of like lucky that way because I self-taught myself illustration. So I don't know the rules, you know, and so anything goes when you don't know the rules. For Scout, the best dog ever in the whole wide world. The dog and the kid are still sleeping. I'm thinking it's early morning. Yes, it is, because she's going to school. Barely has his eye open, just checking. And then there's her eye, and he's on it right away. Ball? She's she's ready. You know how kids are. Ready ready to get into action. Oh he's like so serious. He's like I mean he just woke up. You'd think he'd be tired or something, but he's like Oh do this little pointing ball. <laughs> ball There he goes. Ball? Little I love that little flower. Ball! I love drawing the kid with the, She's awesome. the feet, the socks, yeah. And there he goes. He always runs out ahead of the ball, too. <laughs> I love Oh, I love those. Yeah. Ball? Ball? He's looking. Ball? Ball! <laughs> and there, that worried look on his face. Yes, I did. <laughs>